Good morning guys from my office here on Koh Phangan, Thailand where I'm in lockdown uh, I think for the next couple of months <laughs> I like it here we have a nice house so uh, okay if we need to stay some longer we need to stay some longer which is not a huge problem for me guys today uh, I read some articles this morning I'm feeling way more energized than yesterday the the sang some really you know it's the, when you get older you cannot like drink as much as you used to drink and it takes like a little bit more time to get back to your normal state today uh, I read some thought a few things I read about uh, one uh, fractal is uh, suggesting Bitcoin is going to 9k from Monday and afterwards can fall back to 3k the Bitcoin halving is coming up in 24 days, about 24 days, I think. And it's uh, being searched a lot in Google. There was this, um, I think it's Atomic Dex CTO, who, who said that Binance was a ticking time bomb. Need to investigate a little bit more in that one. And last video, we also talked about this privacy part that blockchain could be uh, creating this evil tracking system and now today I read there are some programmers using uh, one well, I think it was baseline platform to build this tracking system what to say I don't know it's a beautiful day I want to start today with saying happy birthday to Sean Stella my good friend uh, he's the, ma the man behind hard forking and creates amazing crypto content has been creating content for the last three four years uh, his channel didn't take off yet but please check it and uh, subscribe to the channel hard forking because he, he just creates top of the bill crypto educational videos and other content just check it okay man Bitcoin to 9k this fractal suggests that we are doing the same move like the last time I will put the chart in here and that we are going to 9k from Monday 9k from Monday I thought we were even having trouble passing the 7k and to, to go to 8.4k but these guys are telling us that we are going to 9k that is really cool because for the people that are in crypto for the money you will get happy people that are in for the development and for decentralizing in the revolution even they will be happy because they huddle Bitcoin as well like me but then the big warning is when it goes to 9k please guys be careful because when Bitcoin goes up that fast um, it will fall down again and we can retest the 3k a lot of people are saying this like you know guys we will go up and test the 8k maybe maybe even 9k but we will fall down to the 3 4k region so sell at 9k buy back at 3k and then maybe you triple your bitcoins amount of bitcoins could be a really cool move the bitcoin halving is in 24 days and um, it has an all-time high in google search that that shows me that a lot of people that have interest in bitcoin now at the moment more than it used to be and that those people don't understand the halving yet and so they are interested in buying but they want to check out probably what the halving is going to do to the Bitcoin price. So I, more things are telling me that uh, something big is coming, a move. Um, you can also see that the Bitcoin kept around 7k and I think we had the oil price dropped really low till the lowest point since 9080, around 9080. So that's really, really strange as well. So Bitcoin did hold like support a little bit and, and, and that's really good because if the normal market plummets and Bitcoin um, holds his price, then it's becoming the safe haven market where more and more investors would maybe go into, which will create more attention for Bitcoin and which will, at the end, 
you know, um, create also a, create also a, a price increase. Again, I am not the best TA, but I need to speak about the Bitcoin price now and then because all my followers are asking me, Didi, what do you think what is happening with Bitcoin price? The tracking part. So there are some programmers probably saw my video and they thought, ah, I will prove Didi that I can do it. So they started building, uh, I think it's the baseline blockchain. They started building a tracking system for Corona. Guys, maybe I'm just speaking for myself though. I should be speaking for, I don't want to be fucking tracked. Not for Corona, not for anything. I just want to be a free soul on this beautiful earth that is allowed to go where he wants, whenever he wants. Why would we want to be tracked? There was another app that was launched in Russia. In Russia, one million downloads. Luckily, all the people started mocking the app and started rating it with like one star. So the app you know, ended up with like 1.3 star in Russia. Um, because people were like, wow, you know what the app was doing? It's not an app to just track yourself. The app even asked your permission to use your camera to make a selfie because it could demand you to make a selfie. And to make a selfie, you need to uh, give the app allowance to use your camera. Any app that can use your camera can also use the audio recorded with the camera. Can You know, it has full access to my opinion. Um, you know, there are so many stories that if apps have, has, have access to the camera and the sound and everything, that they can just even hear what you're saying and all that stuff. So this app is not just about tracking people and seeing if people keep one and a half meter distance and if not like 50 people uh, come together in a bar. The app goes further than this. Believe me, it's, that's what technology does. So in Russia, luckily they get a one star. Um, they, they got a one star, uh, <laughs> a one star rating. Um, that's really cool. Thank you, Russia, for not supporting this and just um, choosing for freedom because freedom is the most important part. There was this uh, atomic, atomic Dex CTO. He was uh, stating on an interview that Binance was a ticking time, time bomb and that people should not hold their bitcoins anymore there because you know um, it's not decentralized it's not a dex we don't know what binance is doing with the funds we don't know um, if there is an investment company behind it and that that is what he stated i've been using binance like since the beginning i i i, I really like the exchange it's 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 just a beautiful uh, platform that, that, that supports trading Bitcoin and many other currencies in a, in a beautiful way. And I think that um, CZ is also doing a lot of good for the world. So I don't know if I agree with this. I agree with that the exchanges should be decentralized more and more. And I also want to warn you guys that please don't hold all your Bitcoins on the exchange. You know, please hold them just on your hardware wallet or, or any other external wallet wallet you have full access to your private keys because an exchange you know we have seen many exchanges uh, collapse in the last few years so, sorry. so um, this can happen again it can even happen to the biggest ones and uh, so e always make sure that the biggest part of your holdings is on on your wallets so I think we have more than 70% now on our wallets and I don't even carry the wallets with me here on travel I have so much trust in Bitcoin going up at the end and, and I don't need that amount of um, money at the moment. So we just keep them somewhere in a, somewhere hidden in Europe in a treasure just on the beach. There is a map, you can find it and you can find the hardware wallet. No, we just keep them safe, man. And uh, the other 30% we play with, I play with. You know, I trade a little bit, I try to uh, increase my Bitcoin uh, portfolio, increase my Litecoin portfolio, increase uh, some Ethereum, I increase some other altcoins here and there. So make sure a huge amount of your crypto is in hardware wallets and not on exchanges because you never know what can happen in a crisis. You know, even exchange can go back. Okay, this, today I didn't have that much news guys, so I think I will keep it to here. Is there anything more you need to know about the family? 
the family is doing fine at the moment. Um, you know, the kids uh, are even getting used now to having a house again here on the beach. Uh, they spend a lot of time in the rooms now and then when it's too warm, you know, then they have airco and they can do their homework and they do some reading. Of course, uh, we also uh, do a lot of family stuff, but now during COVID lockdown, even here in Thailand, many things are closed. So you can't do a lot of things except just enjoying, chilling on the beach and doing some sports. By the way, I started doing sports yesterday again. Oh my God, I was in shock. I bad my shape and my, uh, my, my, my condition was, man. I, I started running like 10 minutes and then I did a seven minute workout and I ran again like five minutes, another seven minute workout. And then I ran again five minutes and another seven workout and I was completely empty. I was, I was almost dead. If I would have made a video, you would have thought I was one of the, one of the characters in the Walking Dead episodes, man. That, that's how I looked, <laughs> oh my God. But I'm going to try to spot today again because um, I want to stay healthy. I don't have any other news. Uh, I hope you like the videos. Please support me by sharing the videos, by liking the views, giving it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel hit that bell button somewhere down here so um, you will be noticed on the new video I make every time from this beautiful island I will try to make some more funny content videos as well because I don't want to make only these serious videos um, I love to have some funny content I hope you watched the whole one and a half hour interview um, I did with John Kim it was a little bit on the edge but it was a lot of anger exploding from the four people on that interview. Um, if not, do take your time to, to, to see, to watch it. There's a lot of beautiful documentary that came out, but many of you already saw it. It's called Out of the Shadows. It was watched more than six million times in a few days. It's about how the mass media is controlled by, in America, for example, the CIA and in other countries by other uh, parties. And you can see how this media has evolved from the First World War to now and how the media has kind of control on what we know, what we feel and what we think. Out of the shadows, I will put the link down uh, below. Please start using uh, the links in, my, in, in the description section. Uh, you can, can find links to travel and to book hotels, to book flights with Bitcoin. You can find links uh, to our book you can find links to all the other crypto related uh, apps that are really handy in these times of spending bitcoin finding bitcoin and all that stuff um, so just try to use our links so that we can keep con making these videos of we we that's me and my other personality no that's <laughs> that's the family i can uh, continue making these videos because there's a it costs us a lot of time and, and we love doing it but um we also love to see some love back and make some money with them so that we can share this money uh, with poor people around the world and we can include those images into the videos so that you guys see that we care for other people and that's why we called the tour we started the, uh, seven months ago the sharing is caring tour because we wanted to see a different kind of life to the crypto community sadly the tour has stopped now because of the COVID and we cannot travel anymore, we cannot go anywhere, we are stuck um, and we will see if we will continue the tour because a lot of crypto companies um, have been struck by this COVID crisis and I don't think and I don't know, that is what I should say, I don't know uh, if the sponsors we had for the tour will be able to continue the tour. Um, also their countries were struck by COVID and I don't know if, uh, if they can even keep continue supporting us which we will never blame them for because we know that this uh, changed the game and as you could read in one of the articles today as well oh, I only forgot that one is that even Crypto Valley in, in Switzerland has um, enormous losses and that they think that maybe 80% of the projects they support will go bankrupt the next couple of months because of this huge crisis so there was again a lot of information i hope it was again very structurized <laughs> as you used of me <laughs> i don't think so Shit. but i hope you enjoy the content guys and again it's saturday enjoy your saturday 
go do some stuff with your family even in house or out house if you're allowed and just enjoy it man 24 7 just enjoy every day i, I know I, I keep saying it but it's all up to you to make the best out of your life and it's all up to you to, to see the glass half full or half empty it's all in your mindset um, i'm writing a second book about this mind mindset part but please buy the first one first the first book first because that's preparing you for this mindset we are in thanks for watching Keep sharing the content, please. Keep liking the content and see you tomorrow. I wish you a beautiful Saturday and enjoy your day, guys. Bye, man. See you tomorrow.